She's not well enough to race today, but 10-year-old Michaela Salt is excited to cheer on her big brother Nathaniel. The whole family is at the track meet here on the Six Nations First Nation near Caledonia, Ontario. I'm just around everybody and I'm not stuck in a hospital. <laughs> Michaela spent nearly three months at McMaster Children's Hospital in Hamilton, undergoing intensive chemotherapy to fight leukemia. But after experiencing severe side effects, she wrote a letter begging her parents and doctors to discontinue treatment. And I am writing this letter to tell you that this chemo that I am on is killing my body and I cannot take it anymore. Both Michaela's parents are church pastors and Michaela says Jesus told her she was healed. The family decided to quit chemo, to turn to traditional First Nations medicine, but they won't say exactly how she's being treated. They say that move was highly criticized by her doctors. They basically um, said that she would have 100% um, relapse and she would die um, if we discontinued chemotherapy. As required by law, the hospital referred Michaela's case to the Children's Aid Society. And now her parents are worried she may be taken into custody and forced back into chemo. They've turned to their chief and counsel for help. We're not going to allow any other agency to come in and apprehend our children. We went through that in the 40s and 50s, and we're not going to allow it again. It's not just chief and council who are behind them. Hundreds of community members from Six Nations and New Credit First Nation have joined to form the Michaela Defense Force, a group they say is ready to act if authorities attempt to apprehend her. People know the consequences, and they're willing to um, stand in and protect her at all cost. If that's what it comes down to, that they need to be physical, I mean, I'm sure that, um, that I mean, we're going to do what it, we're going to do um, what it takes to make sure that our daughter is protected. Children's Aid hopes to work with the family and band to come up with a compromise, but the agency does have the legal authority to take action. Sometimes this may mean that we bring, um, um, you know, an order for a child to appear. Sometimes it could be an immediate apprehension. If we believe that a child's in imminent danger, uh, we can immediately remove that child without warrant. The Salt family plans to meet with the Children's Aid Society next week, but they are adamant that Michaela will not return for chemotherapy. Connie Walker, CBC News, Six Nations, First Nation, Ontario.